So you'll probably notice how in the last video, video, when you ran your app, the text view jumped to the top left corner. And we're going to do something very simple to fix that. So when you go to your content main.xml, go to the text section, and you'll see here something called a constraint layout is built in. A much easier way to position your UI elements on the screen is to use something called a relative layout, which lets you position them relative to each other or to the screen. So you just go ahead and change this to relative layout. And then go back to design, and you can drag your text view back to the center of the screen. And as you'll see, when you run the app, it's going to stay there. Now while that's building, I also want to talk about this little thing down here, the floating action button. You can't access it from content main. You'll have to go over to your activity main.xml to open it up. All right, and as you can see here, when the app ran, Hello World stayed in the very center. Now with this floating action button, it has a built-in action already, just to show you how it works. When you click on it, it says replace with your own action. Now as I said, you have to go into your activity main.xml to access that. When you do, go ahead and click on it. Since we're going to be making a stopwatch app, we don't want the little mail icon there. To change its source, go here to the floating action button, source compact. Click on the three little dots next to drawable, and it should open up a menu with a bunch of different button types to choose from. Once you're there, you can search for the play button. Just click on that, and as you can see, it'll put the play button in there. I think it's better to have it a little bit bigger, so I'm just going to go up here and change the width and height of it. Now, you're going to need to use density pixels for the units. That's just another term for the units you want the UI element to be. So let's try 50 by 50. That's a little bit bigger. Uh, let's make a little bit larger, actually. That's nice. Easy to click on the screen. Very easy for the user to see. So. We're going to now talk about editing the action of this button. Go ahead and go back to your main activity.java. And this is where it's referred to, and this is the snack bar that makes its action. Now, we're going to be starting the, the timer when we click this button. So let's just work on changing this to your own action. Go ahead and delete all this snack bar stuff. So where is this? Yeah, right here. And let's put your toast.make text inside there. So that whenever you click this button, the toast you made in the first video of this will be made. Just go ahead and run that. So now that the app is rebuilt, you'll see this button's a lot bigger and now has a play symbol instead of mail. And when you click on that, your toast gets made right there. In the next video, we're going to talk about starting the timer using something called a handler. And that'll be the final one for this app. You guys are almost there. Keep at it.